Fifteen years have passed since the Robeasts emerged from an alternate dimension and began to wreak havoc upon mankind. But now, from the ashes of civilization rises Team Nerve, an organization dedicated to bringing the vicious Robeasts under control. Shane Icarus, son of brilliant scientist Gordon Icarus, must learn to master his cybernetic steed, Shogotron and use its otherworldly abilities to tame the biomechanical monsters which threaten all of existence. With his sister Aya and his friends Ashley, Tommy, and Keith, they are the Riders of the Robeasts. Gosh darn it, Shane, where the heck are you? He thinks just because Team Nerf's president is his dad, he can do whatever he wants. Hey, Keith, thanks for coming out here with me, man. No problem, man. I'm always here for you, especially when you're paying for the hot dogs. Keith, your passion for wieners is unmatched. Grrr. Holy ravioli! Is that a row beast? Ha! Let's see the like feedback round. Whoa, good thing he had his parachute. There you are. Let's get going. Actually, I gotta get home. My dad's gonna freak if I'm late for family game night. Okay, see ya, Keith. Fire the paper mache missiles! Roar! No! How is that even possible? These doofuses don't even know about the AT field. Normal weapons like beanbags and paper could never subdue the row beasts. No! It's about to fire its bomb attack! Ugh, what a nasty tumble! I know my insurance won't cover this! Well, thanks for the save anyway, Miss Katz. Missy's fine. Anyway, we shouldn't keep your dad waiting. Man, I never get sick of seeing the Geofront. Team Nerve knows humanity needs a safe refuge from the Robies. Those dweebs at Team Sealy just don't care. Yeah, what a bunch of Waymanheimers. So what's this big surprise you wanted to show me? Jeez Louise, you're keeping a row beast in here? What does it look like, a giant pizza oven? Pops! Aw, oh, it's so touching to see them hug like that. So you actually managed to catch a row beast, Pops? I sure did. His name is Shogotron, and he's all yours, Shane. Shogotron. Man, this is so cool. If only Sis were around to see this. Aya? I had her brought in from the hospital so she could see her brother's big day. You're the best, Pops! <laughs> that must be Citronicus! Shogotron protected Shane from the falling plywood? Is this the power of friendship? You'll pay for this, Citronicus. You'll never beat the friendship between me and Shogotron. Shogotron, ready to launch! Uh, it's almost as rough as riding in Missy's car! All right, Shogotron, we can do this, man. Just gotta start walking. Ugh! Talk about having a nice trip! Shane, get up! Hurry or we'll push you back with its wind attack! Eject Shane immediately! There's no way he can win! Have a little more faith in me than that! What the? <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> Shane, you can't get through the AT field! What a bet! He shredded it like toilet paper! Get a real kick out of it! I got you now! Shane Icarus here. Tronicus has been captured. Turning the big. Well, Icarus, it looks like you and your son have managed to capture this one. But just remember, Team Sealy doesn't give up that easily. Fortunately for the Earth, neither does Shane. What are we doing in this weird place? You'll see. Holy rigatoni! It's a whole underground city! This is the city you and Shogotron saved, Shane. Wow. And I'll keep on fighting with Shogotron to protect all my friends. Yo, so, this is a story all about how Shane fought the Robies, turned the world upside down. I'd like to take a minute, keep your TV on, I'll tell you how he became the writer of Shogotron. 4D Kvana.